Swimming in crawdads. What's up, guys? We're out here on the river I'm with the Blanchard family. We're gonna get into a little bit of crawdadding. We're gonna take some of these store-bought conventional crawdad traps, fill them with some bait. We're gonna take this ghetto cage that I made, fill it with some bait, and we're just gonna throw some chicken legs all over the place, tied to some rocks, and get him to come out. Sage has already got a little guy right here. Look at that. Oregon crayfish coming up right now. What are they watching, Sage? The bite. That's right. We're just gonna load this bucket up. We're gonna dish the uh, the smaller ones at the end. I think we're gonna do a little catch and cook, crawdad style. We're definitely gonna try out just frying up battering. Um, we're gonna maybe do a panko batter and or a tempura because we've got both of this stuff. But I also brought a little special treat that we might break out and show these guys one of my favorite ways to cook up crawdads, which is also frying them, but uh, not quite as you would expect. Oh, he's back. got me. Ah, he's got me. Ah, he's got me right in that soft spot too. The thing about crawdads that really makes them painful isn't that they're strong, it's that the tips of their claws are super sharp. So they're just digging that sharp little point in. All right, you guys, enough of letting Sage school me on catching these little bugs. I'm gonna get into the water, get wet, grab a couple of these little bad boys. I think it's probably time to uh, start the music. I'm in oh, a rock in there too. With the earth. <laughs> 10 toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad. Let That's a load right there. My secret trick to catching crawdads isn't the traps. They work okay, but it's the trap is like um, we're gonna be out here for a couple of days camping, the or you're gonna go drop the traps. The traps for the scent. Exactly. The, if you're gonna just go drop drop a trap and then come back, it makes a lot of sense. If you got a little boat and you're driving around in a in a bayou or on a lake or something like that, but when you're out just playing around for the day on the river, the real way to do it is to just take some chicken legs and just huck them out into the water. If you're in a lake or something like that, you know, it's all about scent and flavor and the creek washes it downward. So like he was saying, we throw all of our baits, we put some traps up high and everything from down low that smells it, they're gonna begin walking from way down there all the way up to the spot. Like you said, right to the trap. We're gonna scoop them up. This is Crawdad 101. Put your traps up high, put your baits up high, they'll come to it. Plain and simple, look at that. They're back there. Chelly, hold up your net. Look at Chell's net right now. Chell's got a stack right there, so let's get to it. Look right back behind your foot right here. There's two, two decent ones, and we just scooped up both of those. Get right behind there's them. There's another one right over here. Come on, bud. And we just got in. Another one right over here. Just got that one. Another one right, right here. And we just got that one. Another one right here. And we just got that one. We just tap tap the ground behind them with this net and they just swim backwards into it basically. Dude, there's a big one under here. I'm gonna try to grab my hands. He's like backed in underneath this big rock. Yeah, that's what I was doing. So I don't know, when they pulled up, I was talking about turning over rocks. Got him. Bam, baby. That was a good one. 
Hand catch, man. The net's, the net's the easiest way to get a bunch, but hand catching is a blast. Seriously, this is one of the best things you guys can go and take your kids and do. It's a blast. We're, we're just walking through like, I mean, sometimes we'll get into waist deep water, but for the most part, we're in knee deep water. I mean, look at little Soren, little three-year-old right there, and they're catching them like crazy. I mean, the kids have a blast doing this, and we have fun too. I mean, they are delicious, and I mean, they're kind of just like, it's fun to hunt them. Everybody's got nets. Ash has got a net over there. They both got nets. I don't know what he's doing, but anyway. making it happen. Well, you guys, our friends Jackie and Sebastian just showed up, so they're joining the party. The more the merrier. And of course, we've got Kula and Aldene to join the fun. Beautiful, beautiful doggy doggies. Hi. Are you having fun? You want me to hold your hand? Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? How many have you caught? Um, one. You only caught one? Yeah. Oh, you got them right there. So we're doing pretty good. We're collecting crawdads from all the spots. None of them are that huge. A couple of decent tails, like this one right here, although it's pretty small and it's got small claws, it's got a big tail on it compared to some of the even big ones that we're finding. So the tail's really where most of the meat is. You suck a little juice out of the head. The claws have some meat in there too. But, um, but the tail is really what you're looking for. It's big tails on crawfish. Yeah. That's a good one. Couple nice crawfish right there. Feisty little guy. Nothing jumbo yet, but that one's definitely an eater. I'm just gonna keep filling the bucket. Are you just slaying it over here? Yeah, I got a new bunch over here because we haven't been out here. Chelly's just cleaning up. Damn it, all away. Oh, look at them all in the rapid. <laughs> She's cleaning house right now, guys. You can't tell, but every swipe she gets, at least one. Crushing. You guys probably can't see it in this GoPro, but there is just red, 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 red. And she went down. Yes. Nice. Oh, there is a good one. Look at that guy. Yeah, he just He's getting eaten for sure. So you guys, look, our, uh, our crawdad bucket is getting a little bit overflowed. I imagine some of those bottom ones are drowning in the top <laughs> ones. Not a lot of water in there. So we're transferring them over to this cooler and there's already a few in there, but. Get some of these rocks out of here so we don't yep. crush them. How much fun are you having? Uh, some rivers and lakes in Oregon have much, much larger crayfish and crawdads and uh, such than the one that we're on right now. You know, we don't usually drop too many river names when we're out on the water. It's not that classy to drop names in any scenario. But if you're going to drop a name, 
drop a whole bunch of names and then they don't really know what river you're on. So some of my favorite rivers to go crawfishing on are the ones in the area that I live around. Of course, we live in the Eugene area. So I'm crawdad in the Willamette sometimes just because it's running right there through town. Um, the Umpqua, all the tributaries of like the Mackenzie, um, the Darina area. There's a bunch of really good crawdadding up in there. Fall Creek has great crawdadding. We'll go out to the coast. We'll head up the Umpqua, the Alsea, the Syusala, all that central coast stretch. But point being, if you go hit up some of the rivers and lakes in your area, look around, see that there's some crawdads, throw a chicken leg or a fish head or something out in the water, they will come out, they'll climb out from underneath their rocks, they'll come party with you, and you can fill up a bucket, take the big ones home, and suck on them tails, because crawdads are delicious. Let's go catch a couple more. So Jackie and Sage just got back yeah, you, you from pulling that? the trap. Wanna, you want to you open the trap? Open up me? the trap and show us what's in it, guys. Ready? Oh. And look at that. That's what was in the trap this time. You got a big one. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah the color. Ready? Ready? Woo! Look at all of those. So what we're doing now is sorting all of these crawfish. Too small. You gotta be quick. Right in. He's like, yeah, look at this one, guys. Oh, ah, geez. No, 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 put it right here. I think that's a keeper. We've got a lot of real small ones in here. We're just kind of scooping whatever we saw that was red. And the kids are here just collecting anything they can. What do you think? And they're starting to get stressed out because there's so many in the schooler. So we're going to release all the little guys, take some of the bigger ones, boil them off, turn them into a little cook-up. So, um, whoa. Look at that one. Look at that one. egg roll wrappers and egg roll wrappers and wonton shells are made out of the same stuff yeah. so these are gonna work great but what we needed to do was cut them down a little bit because that's a big square so we cut them into this shape of a triangle normally you would get a square and fold it into a triangle but with this what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this big triangle and fold it over like that and we're still gonna get our same little shape so what I've done is I've just wet all of the corners so that they'll stick together decently 
and then I'm taking one little spoon of some of this filler and just plopping it down right there, which is gonna kind of be our center zone. And to be real, what I kind of like is to just run a little finger right across this middle here so that that side also can seal up right there. And then we're just gonna fold this over and then trying to make sure that that is all tucked down deep enough in there so that it doesn't get in our seal because that seal, getting that to tightly come together, that's the most important part. See how this end's a little bit loose too? We wanna to go like that. And if you can, part of why I wet, wet it down this end is to do a little bit of that just to spread out your wing and your filler because of the weird shape of these wontons. And that right there should fry up nicely, give you a beautiful little cream cheese crayfish pocket inside of a nice little shell. And we're gonna go to town and eat a couple of these bad boys right now. Let's see uh, how they fry up. So what happens when you fry these is they puff up. There's a little bit of air mixed inside there and it's this little kind of a wrapper of a shell, but this makes this little air pocket. When it puffs up, the little cream cheese, crayfish, onion, garlic, all kinds of seasoning mix, your little stuffing, it kind of poofs also because the cream cheese and stuff also fries in there and it fills this out. So while when I first made this, it was just a little pocket sitting right there in the center. As it fried, it spread throughout the whole triangle. And when you rip it open, you get this nice, fully stuffed cream cheese, crayfish, wonton -y mix. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. That was dynamite, bro. And don't forget, all of this Hot The Bite merch is available on our website, theendlessbite.com. It's where you're gonna find our merch market. Go check it out. We got hats, shirts, we got stickers, we got ladies stuff, we got kids stuff. Go get you some.